نور اللہ Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said that a person who sends one time durood or salutation or salawat upon me, Allah azza wa jal sends ten mercies upon him. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatam wa salaman alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulallah wa ala alika wa sahabika ya habiballah. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, once again we are blessed with this wonderful opportunity to learn ilm e deen. A moment spent in learning ilm e deen is better than the nafli ibadat of whole day and whole night. The topic which we are going to discuss is about expiation of sins. Alhamdulillah, we are Muslims and in the life of the dunya, everyone faces many difficulties, many sicknesses and many types of pains. But as being Muslims, as being believers the ummat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we are never at loss we always gain Hazrat Sayyidina Abu Sa'id Khudri and Hazrat Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhuma report this hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said when a Muslim gets tired when he faces any sickness or sorrow or any calamity or grief, even if a thorn is pricked in his body, his sins are forgiven. It is mentioned in Fathul Bari Shara Bukhari that Imam Qarafi alayhi rahmatullah al-Kafi, he says, no doubt that calamities and sorrows are expiation for the sins. They are kafara for the sins. When person is pleased with whatever comes upon him, then calamities that he faces, they become kafara for the big sins. And when he is not pleased, still the pains and the difficulties become kafara for the small sins. The research of the scholars is this that if the calamity is huge, it will erase the huge sins. And if person is pleased on that sorrow and taklif that he faces, he will get ajar for that, thawab for that separately. Mufassir Shahir Hakim ul Ummat Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullah Ta'ala explain this hadith e Mubarika. And he says that a Muslim who is patient, even if he faces a very small difficulty, that becomes kafara for his sins. Sufiya Ikram say that if person 
does not find taste in ibadat. He does not enjoy worshipping. And he is grieved because of this. Why is he not enjoying? That becomes kafara for his sins. A person who enjoys ibadat sometimes, he is doing ibadat because he enjoys it. And a person who is struggling and trying to achieve this that he may enjoy the ibadat, his every effort is for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. So he is rewarded and his sins are forgiven. This is the special favor of Allah Azza wa Jal that he puts his bondsmen into difficulties and then he makes those difficulties as expiation for their sins. In this dunya, people cannot be at same situation at all times. Sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are grieved. Some day brings a good news, some day will bring a bad news. Sometimes calamity strikes our bodies, ourselves, sometimes our businesses, sometimes our homes are affected by difficulties and calamities. So like this, there are so many difficulties that we face. But for a Muslim, there is khair, there is goodness in every matter. If taklif reaches him, if musibat, calamity, sorrow reaches him, and he makes sabr, this is good for him. And uh, he makes shukr of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is good for him because at every difficulty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives his sins. Even when we are ill with fever, the sins are removed. Hazrat Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala no says, I came in the holy court of beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had fever at that time. I said, Ya Rasulullah, you have very severe fever, very strong fever. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, I get double the amount of fever than two men like you. I submitted. It is because you should get double the thawab, Ya Rasulullah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, this is fact. And likewise, when a Muslim is injured by the prick of a thorn, oh, he faces more calamity and more difficulty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala erases his sins, his wrongdoings against that. And his sins fall away like the leaves fall away from the trees. Hazrat Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi he writes under this hadith Mubarakah that this was the adab and ihtiram that Sahaba Ikram displayed towards Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They would never even imagine that the fever would become cause of forgiveness of sins because they knew that sin cannot be related to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sickness can only cause increase in his station in his daraja. From here we understand that things through which our sins are forgiven with the same things, stations of the holy people increases. Fever is a illness which is full of mercy. 
حضرت سیدنا جابر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ نو رپورٹس دیٹ بلوڈ رسول آف اللہ عز و جل صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کیم ٹو وزٹ ام صاحب اینڈ ہی آسٹ ہے وٹ ہیپن ٹو یو وائی آر یو شیورنگ شی سبمیٹیڈ آئی ہیو فیور مے اللہ نٹ گو برکا بلیسنگ ٹو دس سکنیس ٹو فیور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ ڈو ناٹ کرس دا فیور بیکاز دس ریموو دا سنس فرام دا پیپل ایز اوون ریموو دا رسٹ فرام اسٹیل ان این ادر حدیس اٹ از مینشن رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ وین پرسن فیسز ہاٹ ونڈ او ہی ایکسپیرینسز فیور His example becomes like that piece of steel or iron which is put in the fire. The fire removes its rust and leaves behind the goodness. Hazrat Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala says, I submitted in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. یا رسول اللہ وٹ از دا ریوارڈ آف فیور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ دیٹ وین پرسن از اسٹرک بائی فیور ہی ہیز پین ان از باڈی ہز وینز آر ٹریمبلنگ اینڈ ہی گیٹس گڈ ڈیڈس ہی گیٹس نیکیز اگینسٹ دیٹ After hearing this, Hazrat Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala anhu supplicated, O oh Allah, I beg you for fever which does not stop me from going in your path for jihad, which does not stop me from your house. and from the masjid of your beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And thereafter, every evening, Hazrat Ubay bin Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala anhu would experience fever. So his dua was accepted. Aqaid alam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, when any Muslim man or woman, they continuously experience fever or headache, they will get thawab equal to the size of Uhud mountain. And when that sickness is gone from them, they do not have any sin left upon them, even equal to the size of mustard seed. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, from this discourse we learn that every calamity, every trouble, musibat, sorrow which comes upon a Muslim, it becomes expiation for his sins. So Alhamdulillah, we are very fortunate. We are Muslims and even in our difficulties, we are not losing, we are always gaining. And we also learn that according to the size of calamity, our sins are forgiven. Which means that if the musibat is very big, if the trouble is very big, then very big sins are forgiven. And we also learned that if we are patient upon any calamity, upon any musibat, then the thawab would be greater than that musibat, than that calamity. And if we are pleased with that, then thawab even will increase and would become double. And we also learned that when we are grieved because we were unable to do good deed 
and we have that gham and that pain in our heart, that also becomes kafara for the sins. And we also learn that no matter how small the trouble is or the pain is, that would also become a cause of forgiveness of sins. It doesn't have to be a very big calamity. No, even a small calamity, a small trouble, small pain would become cause of forgiveness of sins. When person is facing difficulty, when person is ill because of any kind of illness, and if he is a believer, then his sins fall away like the leaves fall away from the trees. And also, we learn that more near you are in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal, more difficulties you will face. The most difficulties which are faced are by the Prophets Alaihimussalam. And amongst them, most difficulties are faced by our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then awliya ikram and then other pious people according to their status in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. And when we are patient on our calamity, difficulty that we are facing, this would cause decrease in our sins and increase in our reward and good deeds. And we also learn that Fever is a cause for the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Even the Prophets salam, used to face fever. It is regarded as the illness of Prophets salam. And we learn that we should not curse fever. This is such an illness which becomes the cause of forgiveness of sins and increase in good deeds. We make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to be patient at difficulties and when we are ill, we are not feeling well, we are in pain, our body is pain, we must display patience with that understanding that we are being rewarded, our sins are being forgiven, and our good deeds are being increased. Ameen bijahin nabil ameen sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brilliance of Ramadan. Brilliance of Ramadan. Brilliance of Ramadan. Brilliance of Ramadan. Brilliance of Ramadan Brilliance of Ramadan Brilliance of Ramadan Brilliance of Ramadan